Whoa, what? Oh, Marge, not here. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the moments where Homer Simpson totally had it coming. We'll only be looking specifically at episodes from the main Simpson series. This catalog of karma will also contain spoilers. So consider this your warning. Dad, you rear-ended the Queen of England. The Queen of what? Go! Number 10. Kicked out for spending Christmas Eve at Moe's Bar. Oh, Homer, when are you going to learn? When Christmas Eve arrived, instead of spending time with his family, Homer instead decided to drink at Moe's Bar. Silent night, holy night. Sure, Moe more than nudged Homer into staying, but that hardly absolves him. To no one's surprise, well, maybe other than Homer's, Marge was not happy. But I'm saying it now. I don't want you here on Christmas. Marge, think about what you're saying. It's Sir Isaac Newton's birthday. Out! She promptly kicked Homer out of the house, sending him out on a lonely walk through Springfield. Sorry, Homer. Hopefully you've figured out by now that the holidays are for spending time with your family, not a bunch of cheap liquor. You have all taught me a Christmas message I'll never forget. The place to get drunk is at home. Number 9 fired for crashing into the power plant. Homer Simpson might just be the epitome of a distracted driver. In Diatribe of a Mad Housewife, we were reminded to always pay attention to our surroundings. When Homer gets a boatload of food from Krusty Burger, he ends up eating while driving. Need more lamp. Oh. Or at least trying anyway. While trying to make room for his food, he ends up spilling a whole bunch of it onto his windshield. And with his vision obscured, he ends up crashing right into the power plant he works at. Oh no, I hit the grief counselor. Suffice it to say, Mr. Burns wasn't pleased and promptly fired Homer. Keep your eyes on the road, not the food. Number eight, arrested by Marge. To be fair, Marge was a little bit of a stickler for the rules when she became a police officer during the Springfield Connection. Bart, it's illegal for you to operate that Class 9 vehicle without pads and a helm. But regardless, Homer was definitely into the wrong this time. He was willing to buy alcohol for teenagers, which is a definite no-no. Homer's never been the brightest, but the fact that he truly saw no problem with it, it was frustrating for Marge, and we can see why. I'll be right back. Now keep your eyes peeled for a real cop. That's it. I'm going to write you a ticket. It wasn't just that either. When Homer also illegally parked his car and refused to move it despite Marge's warnings, she shockingly arrested him. While Homer thought he could get special treatment, this arrest proved that Homer was not above the law. You're not really arresting me. You have the right to remain silent. I choose to waive that right. No! Number seven crashed into the sea after an insurance fraud mishap. Things went a little overboard in Dumbbell Indemnity. When Mo tries to impress a woman he's seeing, problems arise when he starts running out of money. Oh, come on, Mo. Think of all you have to offer besides money. Hmm. I need cash and lots of it. So, in an elaborate scheme, Mo convinces Homer to steal his car and park it on train tracks so he can collect the insurance money on the destroyed vehicle. Sure enough, Homer royally screwed up the plan and ended up driving the car off a cliff and into the water. <laughs> While Homer was just trying to help Mo out, he definitely should have thought about what he was doing. General rule of thumb, don't try to help your friends commit insurance fraud. It probably won't go very well. Yo. You're under arrest, Simpson, for Grand Theft Auto. Now put up your hands. <laughs> Number six, injured after using Mr. Burns' stuff. When Mr. Burns takes the day off from the power plant for a hunting trip, Homer takes his boss's absence as a chance to overindulge. Wait a minute. If I can park in Mr. Burns' space, I can live his whole life. Quickly now, before I think it through. He parks in Mr. Burns' parking space, plays around with his gadgets, and even starts wearing his clothes. But when Homer plays golf in Mr. Burns' office, things really go sideways. When Mr. Burns unexpectedly comes back, 
A panicked Homer sends the golf ball bouncing everywhere. Simpson. Incoming! It then activates a trap door that Homer falls through. Like dominoes tumbling one after the other, Homer is gruesomely injured by an assortment of things that put him in an upper body cast. While Homer probably didn't deserve such an extreme amount of injuries, everything could have been avoided. Yeah, right. They say it'll be three months before I can scratch my ass. Six before I can really go at it. Number five, loses his driver's license. After getting a new cell phone, Homer tries getting a hands-free headset for it. See, that's actually some good thinking on his part. But that good thinking doesn't last too long because Homer then ends up buying way more junk than he needs and filling his car with it. Hog machine? Even I think this is crazy. Do you really need a snow cone machine in your car, Homer? With Homer's attention taken up by all these useless gadgets, he ends up driving his car straight off the pier. Come on, transmit! Transmit! While in court, his license is then suspended and quickly destroyed in a pretty comedic way. Burn their poop! With Homer's reckless abandon, it was really only a matter of time before this happened. Number four, loses it all after investing in pumpkins. Financial investments are always tricky, and when things go south, it could happen to anybody. But yeah, Homer losing all his money in this situation was kind of on him. In season six, Homer invests a ton of money into pumpkins. This year I invested in pumpkins. They've been going up the whole month of October. Well, most people know the reason that pumpkins are in demand is because of Halloween. Homer wasn't one of those people. Because Homer was planning to sell in January, long after Halloween, he ended up losing everything. How am I going to tell Marge we're broke? I need a miracle. Homer eventually ended up becoming a limo driver to try to salvage what little he could. Always be careful what you do with your money. Hello, Vegas. Give me 100 bucks on red. Don't! All right, I'll send you a check. Number three, punched by Ned. You know you've messed up when you've upset Ned Flanders. Homer has pushed Ned's buttons for a long time. But in Black Eyed Please, enough was finally enough. Funyuns? Little Debbies? That's cross-legged music. <laughs> <laughs> when Homer becomes a guest at Ned's house, he starts getting awfully chummy with Ned's parents. And when Ned finds them stoned, he's shocked to say the least. Homer, I can't believe you're partaking with my parents. Yeah, it's medicinal. We had a pain in our neck. <laughs> <laughs> While Ned can be uptight, Homer and Ned's own parents laughing at him understandably set him off. Ned punches Homer and gives him a black eye. I didn't know you were left-handed. <laughs> Ned has snapped at Homer before, like that one time when Homer questioned his coaching capability, but this was different. Ned standing up for himself and putting Homer in his place was a refreshing change. Thanks, Flanders. Punch my eye, destroy my marriage. Now just pull a plug and let me die. That's the plug for the light. Beep. Number two, jailed for rear-ending the Queen of England. When the Simpson family travels to England, things go pretty well, but only for a little while. Thanks to a seriously bizarre roundabout, the family gets trapped in a traffic jam, which Homer decides to force their way out of. That's it. I'm acting the way America acts best, unilaterally. <laughs> While Homer manages to eventually get them out of it, they end up crashing into the back of the Queen's carriage. Since they were caught in the roundabout for hours, we can't particularly blame Homer's frustration, but we can blame Homer for what he does next. He brushes off the collision and when the Queen steps out, talks down to her, not knowing who she is. Lady, please, get back in your overturned car. Let the guys handle this. This boneheaded decision went about as well as you'd expect as he was beaten by guards and imprisoned. Wait! We have to exchange insurance! Oh, ow! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Strangled by God in one of the show's Halloween-themed episodes, Homer manipulates Ned Flanders into committing murders for him. 
Through a speaker tucked away in Ned's Bible, he pretended to be the voice of God as he urged Ned to kill people for him, which is seriously messed up. I command you to kill Patty and Selma Bouvier. When Ned found out, Homer claimed that God wasn't real and tried to prove it by burning Ned's Bible. But this didn't go well and God appeared, hilariously strangling Homer and killing him. Why, you little this sure was a memorable way to go out and only fitting considering Homer's evil intentions during the episode. See what happens when you run your mouth for too long, Homer? Come on, God does crazy things. Check your Old Testament. Hey, Dad. Hey, Bart. Uh, I mean, Jesus. Is there a moment of poetic justice that was dealt onto Homer that we missed? Tell us all about it in the comments. Stupid poetic justice. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.